Bonjour. Bonjour. Bonjour, bonjour, bonjour. So we got a package in the mail. It was a surprise from someone donating to us because they really enjoy the work that we do and we're very excited to show it to you. So we got this beautiful ZWO ASI uh, 1600 monochrome camera which we still don't believe it's real. It's amazing. Um, For I don't even know how long we've talked about having a CCD camera and now we finally have one. Well, it's a CMOS but it's still amazing. So we thank this person a thousand times already. Um, but yeah, we're so grateful you have no idea. So what came with it is we got this camera right here which comes in a beautiful um, bag and it's so pretty it's all red and magnificent as you can see the fan is right here inside and uh, the sensor is right here so this is a monochrome camera and it came with filters so we got eight filters so I already assembled this filter wheel earlier by watching YouTube videos <laughs> um, and I, it was really interesting. He set it up and it powered it up and he rotated it and it's so crazy that you could just plug it in and it'll just do it itself. Like, now we can stay in the car when it's freezing cold. <laughs> we tried this earlier with Sequence Generator Pro on our laptop and I was taking a few random shots. Our laptop is has like no storage. Honestly, it's just used for like assignments, nothing more. So it, it really can't hold anything. So instead of buying a new laptop, we decided to instead, what is the back? Oh. To instead um, buy something that's pretty famous right now and has very good reviews. So we hope it's gonna be great for us. And it is the ASI Air. There's an SD card included and it connects to the camera um, right here and also to the mount so and we control this by using our phone or tablet so hopefully it will all work out for us this is very new we've been doing this all old school very old school since we started so let's see what's inside so first of all we have really beautiful what was this called wow that's for packing peanuts here's a bear should be very happy with that. Uneventful. Oh! Oh, she's playing. You can check it second seat. Oh. Anyway, um, what else do we have? Get him, Gilbert. <laughs> she crashed in the wall. <laughs> anyway. Ooh. Oh. I don't care about Ooh. that. Ooh. That's the micro SD card, I believe. It's an adapter for the computer to transfer our stuff. This is a cable. I think that plugs into the computer or? No, it doesn't plug into the computer. Oh, it plugs into the mount? And we're going to mount everything on this telescope. It's right here. Um, later, so you can see our new setup all together. This is a, I think it connects to the mount. Yep, it looks like it. I think. And then this is probably connecting to the camera. This is to Velcro. attach to the telescope. Oh, it's yeah. pretty small. I thought it was yeah. bigger. Pretty small. And, and the SD card is right here already? We got that there. Oh, so the SD card is here? Oh, yeah, the SD card is right here. Pretty. It's really pretty. And it matches the camera. I know. Alright, so now that we have this, um, we can try to mount everything on the, on the telescope and see if it works. Please let us know if you if you like our channel because of our DSLR but if you want to see us progress with a cool camera let us know what you prefer and we hope you will like our new our first Are upgrade you? yeah all right wow, let's not do i know oh my gosh we haven't upgraded anything we haven't upgraded anything since we've gotten our telescope yep first time it was pretty scary to install our new shiny camera for the very first time. 
But also, for once, we were doing it from home, so we didn't have the stress of being out in the desert alone, where every second counts. We quickly realized that we had a problem, though. How would we power up both the camera and the ASI Air in addition to our mount? We bought an awesome device from a company called Pegasus Astro. We will make a review of the camera, the ASI Air and this third item at some point in the future, depending on how we like them. Well, it seems like it's working perfectly. So here is our final setup, I mean for now. So we were only supposed to get this thing right here. But we had to add the ASI Air as well as this Pegasus power box. Between this video and the time it got published, we had the time to do a quick first light test of our new camera before the winds and the full moon invited themselves to the party. After about three hours of imaging and our first time processing the Hubble palette, we got this. This looks very promising and we hope to have time to get a better image of Thor's helmet before filming episode 12. We'll see you in two weeks for another video which will most likely be our picks and sight workflow. <laughs> Clear skies!